hope to be able to remove the fence and let the Kiwi re-establish themselves in what was part of their former territory. So we hope to have 10,000 10, hectares surrounding Mattia, pest and predator controlled, and the dogs in the area are birds and prey. We want to acknowledge you in the Bank of New Zealand and um, the great sponsorship they've provided for you know, well over 20 years now actually in supporting the Trust. Um, the Department of Conservation did a great job for us uh, from one end of New Zealand to the other, trying to uh, preserve our natural flora and fauna and wildlife. Uh, bird life and the likes. It's great to see all the kids here, so you guys are doing very, very well. Natahine, who um, all of these birds have originally come from. Uh, the eggs were collected from their rohi, and without their generosity and um, foresight, uh, none of these restoration projects would be possible. And also um, the Motuora Restoration Society, who do all the, um, the mahi on that island to um, maintain its pest-free status. And without them doing their work, uh, we wouldn't have a safe place for these birds to go. Are you aware that there's 27 birds a week that we are losing from our, from our farm called Aotearoa. It's a huge number if you think about it. And Kiwis for Kiwi is one of the groups together with all the local community groups that are actually going to be working to stop that and turn that around. And the progress that we're making is encouraging but not good enough. And this today is an outstanding example of exactly what's happening with many parties working together. If you think about it, we've got landowners, we've got the Department of Conservation, government, We've got even the Prime Minister on board <laughs> with this one. I think that's nice. We've got funders like the BNZ and other sponsors, local communities. We've got scientists, we've got teachers, and we've got all you guys from Meadowbank and everywhere coming to help us out.